Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we are working on the electric steam boiler project and uh, there's uh, a channel underneath the base of that boiler that has some high voltage wiring running through it and because steam engines and boilers are kind of a wet environment uh, there's lots of moisture everywhere there's a decent chance that uh, water could collect down around that base and I'd rather not have that high voltage wiring sitting in that soup uh, ready to barbecue the operator. So what I'd like to do is add some feet underneath that base to get it up off the deck. It's a simple project, but sometimes those are the most satisfying. So let's dive in. All right, we'll start by marking the pieces off and I'm doing these one by one so I don't have to account for the uh, kerf of the saw. And the portable bandsaw makes short work of that brass. And to score up the ends and clean up the saw cuts, I'm uh, reaching for the files here. I uh, do that more and more these days uh, for brass. It's actually really satisfying. So the, uh, the rough work is done with a 10 inch uh, double cut bastard file. And then we'll grab the 10 inch mill file for uh, cleanup and that uh, Fine cut mill file leaves a really beautiful finish on the brass. It's glassy smooth when you're done. And then we'll just uh, knock those corners off as well, just to make it really nice to the touch. All right, then we do the same on the other side. And, uh, and we've got three more of those to go. Yeah. All right, now the centers have been punched and we're gonna drill through now for the mounting screws. And uh, this drill's turning, frankly, too slow for uh, the size of the bit and for, for brass, but uh, this drill press has one of those triple cone belt speed changing systems and it's kind of a hassle. So uh, this is the fastest I can get with uh, only changing uh, one of the belts. So it'll do. And now we're going to countersink for the heads on the screws. And I don't have a proper countersinking bit, so I'm just using a large drill bit here, which works uh, quite well, actually. Perfect countersink. It's always very satisfying. Okay, and now we're ready to mount the feet on the base. And I'm using another foot as a spacer on the top and the side just to get it perfect. And then I've got the drill bit choked up so that I can't go too deep. So it's choked up to be the perfect depth to go through the foot and then the right amount into the base. So I just drill through the foot and uh, it's in the perfect place. And then I just uh, screw that foot in by hand. This is also a really good look at the uh, channel that's cut underneath the base for that wiring. And that wiring is 120 volts. It's going from the thermo switch to the electrical box at the other end. And it's secure under there, but you can see how I would want to keep that up out of the water. Now for the felt feet themselves, I'm just uh, marking that out. This is standard furniture felt you buy at the hardware store and uh, cutting it with a utility knife. It's got a self-adhesive backing on it that's pretty durable. It'll certainly stand up to uh, this little boiler. And then just peel that paper off. I'm using a razor blade there to kind of catch the edge. And then I wipe any oil or grease that might still be on there from the drilling operation. And just to press that felt into place and then do it uh, three more times and we'll be done. And here's the final result. You can see it's certainly doing the job of lifting us up off the, ta off the table there. And uh, you know the felt is actually a little bit thicker than I had in mind so I may actually replace that with just some double stick tape and uh, a thinner felt, but uh, it's doing the job and I really like how the, uh, the brass turned out. Uh, so that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, thank you for supporting me on Patreon and uh, please do subscribe to the channel for the upcoming public videos and uh, tell your friends. Thanks for watching.